Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Geneva Hines and I'm going to Ryerson University right now, first year for media production. And I pretty much want to make a video discussing how life at university has been going so far for me and why I chose media production at Ryerson over other schools. For me, I felt like during the application process last year, yes, I did my, my research and I looked at the schools, but I really wanted to see visuals and I really wanted to see videos um, from students who are currently in the school um, and see like how they're enjoying it. And when I looked online, I couldn't find too many for the schools. So I really wanted to make one of those videos, which is why I'm here today. In this video, I hope to tell you a bit more about Ryerson's courses um, and also maybe show you some visuals of the classes themselves and how I've been enjoying it. Um, so let's get to it. walking to class I thought of something that I think would be important for you guys to know um, so for this program you have your labs and your lectures because it's a hands-on program they want to allow you to have that hands-on experience through the labs and then the lectures where you'll learn the theory or like the behind the scenes kind of aspect of the media industry so right now I'm actually heading to um, one of my uh, lectures um, so I'll bring you along and show you inside um, so let's go There is a lecture for it and there's also a lab and right now our product is podcast building So every single class we learn a bit more about the actual materials that we're using such as uh, box pop materials Microphones at the Allen Slate Radio Institute and then from there we use the equipment to make our podcast So we also get different assignments each assignment is a specific segment of that podcast So there's the introduction segment. There's also a featurette an interview and a lot of different other parts as well Processes is one of the other courses that we have here in media production. Pretty much what it is, is you're talking about the creative process to media. So in this course we are put into groups and we have to be given a specific organization that we do, we create media for throughout the uh, course. is the digital media course and that course we pretty much are able to learn Photoshop, Illustrator and After Effects. In our labs uh, we're able to actually use these platforms and learn through tutorials how to use them properly and then in our lectures uh, we learn a little bit more of the behind the scenes aspect of digital media. 
So in an EA production, you're also allowed to have one elective. And for me, my elective is from page to screen. Pretty much the course talks about the adaptation of books to films. So through the course, we obviously go into deep dives on the books and then get to see how they were adapted into those films. Um, some example books that we have been reading are Streetcar Named Desire, The Tempest, and Macbeth. So since I'm going to some of my classes, I might as well get some of my friends to kind of explain what their thoughts are on the program just so that you get not only my opinion, but other people's opinions as well. Um, so here they are. Um, I chose media production because I feel like it's the perfect balance between practice and theory. So like I learn a lot about what I'm going to be actually practicing and I get hands-on experience as well as like book theory and stuff like that. Uh, plus it's an awesome way to make connections and um, it's highly reputable. I chose uh, media production at RTA because I personally want to create things and as a person who likes making things and making media, I thought that this program would be the best option for me. So I picked Ryerson Media Production because I like telling stories through digital platforms and that's video, photography, and graphic design. And uh, from all the previous students I heard good things and uh, they talked about how it's practical and you learn real world skills that are going to apply to the field that you go into. I really enjoyed the hands-on aspect and I also thought that I would just fit in better with the media production program over others at Ryerson. I picked media production at Ryerson because it gives me the option to expand my horizons beyond just TV. Like I enjoy digital media, Photoshop, sound production. You know, all that stuff, learning the theories behind like how it all started. I've heard a lot about RTA before I decided to apply for it. Um, I, I wanted to apply for it for a long time. I went to the open house and it just it seemed like a program for me. Um, it's in the heart of Toronto. Toronto is the media capital of Canada. There's so much opportunity down here and RTA is incredibly prestigious. It's an awesome program. I'm loving every second of it. If, I think if you want to pursue a career in media, this is the place, this is absolutely the place to do it. Bryson has uh, such great connections to the media world and since it's in downtown Toronto, which is basically one of the biggest media hubs in all of Canada, it's the greatest opportunity for you to make connections, so yeah. So Sport Media is a really great all-around program that, and so far the first semester has really opened my eyes to what's available for me in like the media industry and I can't wait to keep going with it. So I chose Ryerson because I felt that their program was the perfect balance between hands-on and, and theoretical and for me that was really, really important. So where did I apply? I applied to Ryerson, U of T, Waterloo and Western all for media program. So for me, I thought that theory is really, really important, so I still wanted to go to a university where I got the theory, but I also wanted to make sure to get the hands-on, and I didn't want the theory to overpower the hands-on in which I wasn't able to fully grasp like the actual concepts. In the area of media, it's important that you know how to do things, because when you go into the industry, they're going to ask you, do you know how to use Premiere Pro? Do you know how to use Photoshop? Do you know how to use After Effects? Do you know how to use a DSLR? things like that, and if you don't know, then how are you going to do your job? So that's why I went to school that allowed me to get the theory behind it, so I understand Marshall McLuhan and Donna Haraway, things like that, but I also understand how to use a camera, how to use the programs that are used in the industry. TA has tons of connections to the media world. Oh, it's been. Oh, we start that. Okay. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Wait, what? I don't know. You know what? I gotta think about this now. I think. Actually, no, that's it. So you can cut it at that. Um, Thomas! God. previously attended another school, I shouldn't put that part in because then under another school so you can cut that out. Um, <laughs> okay. Thomas, can you not? <laughs>